Hello and welcome to this video uh, for Tableau for Sport on the average player position. Okay, so in a previous video we looked at mapping general XY data. We can use that actually to have a look at where on average did a, did a player make his touches or his passes or, or these kind of things. So let's jump in, let's continue on with our, our Tableau workbook and let's have a look at this. So this is where we left off the last day. Let's click on the new worksheet and let's build up something from scratch again. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my location zero, my location one. And again, if any of this isn't unfamiliar, is unfamiliar, you can go back to the previous video and check what I did there. So let's add location zero and one to there. Again, we want to break the level of detail of this viz by player. So previously we've done it by event, but let's actually do it by player name. So let's put player name on the detail. And lastly, I do want two pitches. So I'm going to do this for the, the two teams at the same time. Okay, so we've Liverpool and we've Tottenham. Now, if you remember from the previous video, the pitch should be zero to 120 and zero at the top to 80 at the bottom. But you can see these numbers are, are huge. Okay, and that's because what it's done is it's going to take a player like Mo Salah here in this example, and it's summing all of his location axis and all of his location wise. Again, summing these up makes makes no real sense. But what we do want is we do want an average. So what I can do is I can click on the, the green pill and change this to an average of that and an average of that. Okay, so now this is beginning to, to look quite nice. Um, it should remember your pitch. Okay, again, if it doesn't, you can go back to the previous video and have a look. It should remember your pitch here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the axis again and just make sure that I, I bring back in my my space. So uh, this should be 85 and again just making sure to reverse it so that 80 touch line is, is along the bottom. And again I'm going to edit the axis because I want to see the full pitch. Uh, so we'll make that minus 5, 125. Okay, so that gives us breathing room on, on either end, either touch line. Okay, and then I can go and uncheck this. Okay, so again, starting to, to look better here. And now let's add some of the, the design elements to this. Okay, so first let's put team onto color. I prefer to use filled circles. And I think we can bump up the size a little bit. And we could even put a border around around those dots so they stand out a little bit more okay and um, next we could add the player name so we don't want to hover over each of these to see who exactly it is it might be fine for a goalkeeper but for the rest it doesn't really make sense so let's put player name onto the label okay now again, the, the way the data's come in, it's given us the player's full name. A lot of the times it looks like middle names as well. Um, and that just kind of clouds our, our view here. The, the names are, are getting in the way. We, we can format this, okay? So what we can do is we could just take the last name. So anything after the last space or maybe the last hyphen, uh, we could take out. So we'd get Gomez, Matip, uh, Becker, that, and so on. OK, now you can play around with exactly how this might work for you, but we're just going to take the last the last set of the last word, basically their last name. So I'm going to right click on player name, go to transform and custom split. And in here you can use the separator and the separator can really be anything in our case, just a space. And I want the last one column space, last one column. Click OK. And it creates this new field called player name split one. Let's give that a better name. Player name surname. Okay. So what I can do is I'm going to take player name off here. So just drag it into that space and put that onto the label. And that looks much cleaner uh, in terms of not, not overlapping with each other. So, you know, there's a lot of central play here is one of the things that stands out. But let's keep going with the kind of design. I, I probably want to take people out who didn't have many involvements in the match. Okay. So there might have been a sub, you know, we had one or two touches. Um, 
I'm not necessarily interested in, in mapping all of those. So what we can do is we can take um, our count. If we remember from the very first video, we have this count, and that's just a count of events. And what this will do is it'll count the events per player because that's what we've used to, to aggregate this data. So at the moment, this table is showing us per player. So if I drag count on, I could set a minimum here. So minimum, let's say you have to have made 10 involvements. Okay, so 10 involvements here. Um, event type, and we can go and filter by this. So I could say, well, I'm only actually interested in the passes. So this is now players, average position on the pitch when they made a pass, but they have to have made at least 10 passes to be included in this, okay? So that's 11 Liverpool players, and I think it's one extra for Spurs. So there's 12 Spurs players. So one of the subs is included in there, but they made enough enough of an impact. So we can see, we can really see, you know, this central area is where those forward players for Spurs played, where Salah's average position playing the ball is, is nearly inside the box. Okay. Uh, you can see Henderson, Wijnaldum, Mane, you know, these are all kind of spread out, they're all in the opposition half. So it's a very nice chart just to be able to see the average position of where players have played. A few last things I would I would take time to, to develop here before we maybe put in a dashboard or anything is to get rid of, of some of the additional lines that are here. So what we can do is go format lines, and what I want to do is get rid of the zero lines. So it's very slight, but you can see these kind of dotted lines. I want to get rid of those. Uh, then we can go to the borders and I'm gonna get rid of the row dividers and maybe also the column dividers, make them none. We don't need this team name here, so I can right click and hide that. And I can right click and format on the, the team names themselves. And I think let's make these Proper big, tableau bold, gives them a little bit more room to breathe. Uh, and again, give it a, a proper title or a description somewhere along the way in terms of, of what, you're, what you're showing here. But you've now got a very nice dashboard. And again, just to show uh, it's match ID or match date. You can easily flick between games easily flick between games. So again, build it once and you've got the same structure built game after game after game. Okay, so that's average player positions built on, on a pitch, XY data. Okay, thank you very much.